What's up guys, this is me helping you go over the regular test for the chapter 11 thing, our next to last test before spring break. Well, never mind, forget I just said that. We got two more big tests and then the FSA, and then maybe one or two after. Um, so, number one, if you need help with that, uh, I would say go back over the study guide that I gave you and look at the hint on the right side of that study guide for the practice test and I give you the name of that object. You, all of you should know, nobody should miss this. If you do, uh, number two, um, all you need to do is take the base length times the height and it's not a triangle so don't cut it in half. Just do the base times the height and you're going to be good. Uh, now if you need help multiplying, you're on your own with that one. Uh, use, yeah, just use your brain. Number three, now it's triangle. Remember with the triangle, it's base times height, and you have two options, okay? Either whatever your answer is, you can cut that in half, and that is the right answer, or you can take the base or the height and cut one of those in half. And then when you multiply, you get your answer and you're done. Okay? So you can take the base, cut it in half, multiply times the height, or the height, cut it in half, multiply times the base, and you're good to go. You should know that. We've done that plenty of times. Number four, same thing. I would take seven times four, I would cut four, cut it in half, and then multiply, and that answer is the correct answer. Okay? So, good luck with that. Number five. Now, we've talked about this many, 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 many times. Whatever your answer is for these, is it going to be inches, inches squared or inches to the third power? Inches A, square inches B, or cubic inches C? We've talked about that many times. Nobody should miss that. Number six. Uh, your practice test, your study guide that we went over on Tuesday, it tells you take the top plus the bottom, okay? You're going to add those two numbers together, and then you're going to multiply times 4. And what I would do is cut one of these numbers in half. And I think it said times the height. So let me, let me rephrase that. Take that number, cut in half, and then multiply 16 times whatever that half is, and that's going to give you your answer. All of you should know what half of 4 is. Multiply that times 16 and you're done. And we can do the same thing with number 7. Okay? So number 7. You're going to take, you're going to add top plus bottom times, now this is going to be your height. So you're going to want to cut that in half, and then whatever you multiply 18 times half of 12, that is going to be your answer. And it's multiple choice, so it's A, B, C, or D, okay? Let me double check that I see it, and I, I do see it. Yeah, so you're good to go. Number eight. Um, number eight's a little bit tricky, so what I would do for this is I would go, let's go this way, okay? And then this rectangle is going to be 7 times 4. Whatever 7 times 4 is, is the area of that rectangle. And that leaves you with this rectangle right here. And you know the height is going to be 3. Now that's the tricky part. That number is going to be 2 subtracted from 7. So that top length is 7. Whenever you subtract, uh, uh, there, sorry. Whenever you take 2 and subtract it from that, that's going to leave you with this part right here. I'm going to put it in green. And that part, 7 minus 2, is going to be 5. So this rectangle in the middle is going to be 5 times 3. So do 7 times 4, get your answer. Do 5 times 3, get your answer. And then add those two areas together, and that 
This is the final answer. Okay? Hope that helps. Pause it, do it. You guys will be fine on that. Number nine, remember, do the opposite of what you see to get x by itself. What's the opposite of plus three? You're going to subtract three from both sides, cross out the twins, and x is going to equal ten minus three. Piece of cake. Number ten, look at your practice test. We went over this. Um, number ten, eleven, and twelve, and thirteen. We all went over that. Fourteen's a little bit of a monster. I expect a lot of you to miss this probably. Remember, you have to think of this as five faces with two triangles and three rectangles. Now, this front face triangle right here, that has a base of 6 and a height of 4. So I'm going to cut this in half and do 6 times 2 to get 12 for the front and the back. Those two triangles have an area of 12. Then you have this side of the roof. Let me go, let me go red. It's going to show up better, okay? So that's going to be 6 times 5. So the front I'm sorry, the right and the left side of the roof have an area of 30. And then you have the base, the bottom, which is 6 times 6. So all you have to do is add up those five numbers, and that is going to be A, B, C, or D. I'm going to double check, 0. Yeah, I see the answer. It's A, B, C, or D, okay? Number 15, just... Realize that you can take 5 times 2, 2 times 3, and 3 times 5. That will give you the area of 3 faces. And when you get those 3 numbers, add them together. Okay? And that's going to be half the surface area. And then you're going to multiply times 2 to equal the answer. Or you can just add it to itself. It does the same thing. Okay? And remember, this is only one, two, three faces. So when you're multiplying it times two, that's going to give you four, five, and six. Because this area has six faces. Six rectangles make up that whole total surface area. And guess what? That's it. Um, I'm not going to go over the bonus with you. That's just extra credit if you want to do it. You don't have to. I hope that's helpful.